and welcome to the next part of the tutorial series. Now it's time to make our background mountains and of course we also want to make them fully procedural too. So let's go. Um, first of all we have to add a new plane. Then scale it up to 400 meters and apply the scale. Then we put it down a bit. Four meters should be enough. All right. Then we open another window, select the geometry node editor and click on new. Okay, um, the first node we need is a set position node. Then we also need a subdivide mesh node again. I would say we set it to 8 for now. Then we need a mix color node. Connect the result with the position. Then we need a map range node. Uh, connect it to the factor. Then we also need a combine XYZ node. And connect the vector to B. Then we need a math node, which we set to multiply. Uh, we connect the value to Z. Then we also need a color ramp. We connect the color to the upper value and a good old noise texture. And here we connect the factor to the factor. Um, all right, now we also need a vector math node, which we can set to distance. Yeah. And uh, we connect it to the value of the map range node. And we also need a vector node and a position node. Okay. And we set the um, uh, noise texture to 4D and the scale is way too high. I would say 0 0.01 or something like that we need. And then we also have to crank up the black value to maybe 0.4. Okay. Um, but we can't see the plane uh, till now. So yeah, we have to connect the position node also to A and here in the map range node, we have um, to set the two min value to 0.25 and the two max value to minus 0.25 and from max we have to set to zero and with the from min value we can control the distance uh, for the noise but here we first have to crank up the multiply value all right yeah so i would say we yeah, maybe 250 is good for now. Okay. And yeah, we have to set, uh, we have to crank up the details to 50. Oh yeah. And then 
Uh, we also, I would crank up the subdivide um, mesh node also to 10. Yeah, perfect. Um, and as you can see now, we have uh, easily our background mountains and you can control with the map range node um, how far the uh, noise texture uh, should be applied on the plane. So we rename it to mountains and here also mountains we make a new collection and call it mountains and here we go okay and now it's time to texture our mountains because if we are going to the material preview we only have white mountains because we don't have any textures applied and for that we will go to poly heaven again and I used for the mountain this one, the rocks texture and also the snow texture. Back to Blender, we go to the shader editor and click on new. We also call it mountains. And then because we have enabled the node wrangler add-on before, we can press Control shift t again and go to the rocks textures, select all and OK. Now we duplicate this principal BSDF, then press Control shift t again. Now we go to the snow textures, select all and OK. Then we put everything a little bit down. And we can also delete the second mapping nodes because uh, we can use these nodes also to control the snow textures. All right, then we put our material preview a little bit down. And here we need a mix shader node. We put it in between. Then we connect uh, it also with the principled BSDF of the uh, snow textures. Um, we crank up the scaling to something like 10. Okay, um, and now we also need a mix color node. And we connect the displacement of the rock textures to A. And this displacement node to B. All right. Then we connect the result to the displacement. And now we would also need a color ramp. And a noise texture. Here we connect the factor of the noise texture to the factor of the color ramp. Then we connect the color to the factor of the mix shader and to the factor of the mix color node. All right. Um, now we also have to connect the vector to the vector of the mapping. And with the color ramp, we can now control the visibility of the two textures. Um, in our case, I really want snowy mountains. Uh, so I set the black value to something like 0.1. 
and the write value to 0.8. Then you can also play with the detail or with the uh, scaling. So something like this is pretty nice. Now I go into the camera view and then into the render preview. If you want to make the mountains a bit um, brighter, you can also put a brightness contrast node in between the uh, snow texture and the principal BSDF and set the brightness to one. So here's how it looks till now and I hope I see you in the next chapter.